Hey guys, it's David. Uh, back with another video. Today we're going to do a little bit different. Not going to be talking about the clothes I bought. Not going to be talking about none of that shit. Today we're going to be talking about a de kind of like a denim guide or like denim advice for people who are men who are bigger. It's got to be easy out here for all you skinny dudes to be able to find denim at one year 6'2", 240 pounds. Finding denim is not easy, especially if you want a skinny fit. So for the most part, I'm kind of tearing this video towards men who wear either a waist 36 to a 40. I personally am a 38, but can kind of sometimes get stuck between a 36 and a 40. But not really, it's all based on the measurements, which you need to kind of try and take yourselves. But I'm going to be kind of giving some advice, showcasing some of the best brands that I think will work for you. And I mean, you know, just some other random tips that I found along the way of trying to build a denim collection which is not easy for guys my size. So I'm hoping to be able to help you guys out today. Here we go. All right, so the first brand that I'm gonna be talking about as far as denim goes uh, is Top Man. Top Man's stretch skinny line, to me is by far the best denim line for men who are above a size 36, because they are like one of the main brands that offers a size 38, especially in a skinny jean. I mean, guy, you can even go as far as like the spray on skinnies if you wanted to. Um, but what I love most about them is that stretch, which you can see here is amazing. And it's just enough too, it's not too much. And the best part about it to me is most of the time when you get a stretch skinny jean, which is key for a guy who's bigger, is the denim is really thin and it's just it's way too much spandex in it. These actually feel like denim, they move like denim. It doesn't feel like you're wearing some bullshit, non-durable piece of garbage that's gonna rip. Because I know if you buy really thin denim, they rip in the crotch so fucking fast. But these Top Man denim are super, super good quality. I think these are only 50 bucks, which are, if you're a student as well, I'm pretty sure you get 10% off at all times, which is pretty fucking crazy. So I have the gray ones there. And then these are like the vintage wash. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I think these are a little bit more. I think these are 70. But yeah, super, super thick denim. These don't stretch quite as much, but I still love them nonetheless. And Top Man, definitely by far the number one recommended jean for a person above the size 36. No, they don't go to a 40, but the 38 is really flexible. It's definitely stretchy, so if you are maybe a little bit bigger than a 38, they might still be able to fit you. So Top Man, stretch skinny, reasonably priced, good discounts, great denim. Yeah. Okay, so the next brand that I'm going to be talking about for men's jeans that fit size up uh, for bigger men is ASOS. ASOS has probably the most options of anything, not only because they go up to a size 38, but they also even stretch up into 40 and even 42 sometimes. Keeping it skinny, spray on skinny, whatever you need for you bigger guys out there. Um, this pair, I, you know, I've only owned one pair of ASOS denim actually in my life. Uh, it was the, I think it was the super skinny, just plain black jeans, and they were in a 38, and they fit me like a charm. They were perfect, but I fucking wear my shit. I ripped them into pieces right in the crotch area because I like to run around in the summertime with my denim so these are a brand I actually got off of ASOS and it's called Dark Future and these are a 3832 and these stretch really really awesome these are actually they might not be my favorite denim but these are by far the best fitting as far as the length the stretch to them and the actual thickness of the denim I mean I've worn them a ton there's no signs of ripping it's definitely thicker um, I'm not too sure if they still have a ton available on the website still, but I think I got these on sale for like 30 bucks. But they're regular ASO super skinny or just regular skinny denim in a size 38. I mean the lowest you can go is 40 and then sometimes on sale I've seen like they had a pair of like pink pair for like 12 bucks right now. So I'd say the average price is still between 40 and 70 bucks, but you can get that size that you need, the super good quality. And again, I'm pretty sure they offer a student discount like Top Man, so make sure you check out ASOS for the bigger jeans, bro. Alright, so kind of like the last like mainstream brand that you can get anywhere, because they're the most famous denim brand in the fucking world, Levi's 5.11's, which is like their skinny fit. Again, okay amount of stretch, probably the least between ASOS and Top Man, but again, offer a size 38 in skinny, which is amazing. They fit really, really well. I mean, I notice I don't even really even need the stretch, to be honest. Like, they fit really, really well in the waist. Quite possibly the best in the waist of all the different ones. The leg, granted, isn't as skinny as I'd like it, but uh, if you saw in my last video, I actually got these at the thrift, and I have in here the same pair, but those are really gross and ripped. But um, I've owned other Levi's over the years. 38, that was kind of what I did when I first, because when I was in high school, I was more of a 36, but as I kind of got into college, I went up to a 38, which fucking blows. 
But um, these were like the first I went to. They were the easiest to find. Before I kind of figured out where the fuck everything was on the internet, Levi's 5.11s fit amazing for a size 38. They might offer a size 40 online. I'm not positive, but you might want to check. But definitely Levi's. Amazing. You can get them for super cheap. I think $40, 50 You can go to fucking Macy's at your mall and get these shits, bro. I have another pair. I'm not going to show too much of them, but these are just a custom pair that I did. But they kind of got too thick after I painted them because I ran out of fucking fabric paint. I decided to use regular, like, real heavy-duty paint, and now they're kind of fucked. But I'm sure if I wash them, I can fix them. But definitely Levi's, size 38. I think it's the 511. Make sure you check those out. All right, so for the last little part of the video, I'm gonna be talking about kind of some of like the designer brands or better brands that I know can definitely fit you guys who wear a 38. Maybe not quite into the 40, that's better for like ASOS top man, but definitely can fit into the 38 range. So my favorite by far is the company Black Denim. B-L-K-D-N-M. Uh, they offer crazy stretch. And like the key to looking with stretch denim, I didn't say this before, is you want to find, even if it doesn't say stretch denim, look for 2% spandex or whatever the fuck the other word is for spandex, but, or elastane, so then you know that they're stretched to them. But these are a 36 and these fit me absolutely perfectly. Uh, kind of along with one of the guidelines and tips is to go to essence.com as a men's high-end retailer. They show all the actual length measurements of every pair of jeans that they sell. And they just so happen to sell almost every single designer brand that you probably know and love on their website. So you can kind of get a basis idea of which brands offer certain waist sizes. Like this I read right away it was a 19.25 inches across, which translates to a 38.5, which is perfect. And I actually didn't buy them off Essence. I bought them off of Farfetch at a bigger discount, and it was exactly the same. They fit perfectly. Awesome rips on them. These, I think the average retail is between, you can find them anywhere between 100 and 250. But these are definitely my favorite denim, but be careful, make sure you try and find measurements because I actually bought another pair of black denim before and they were way too small on a 36, so black denim, yeah. Alright, so the other pair, I actually bought these when I used to work at Barney's like two years ago. Uh, they're from a brand called J Brand. Uh, these are a 36 as well, got stretched to them. These are probably one of the better fitting pair of jeans that I actually have, maybe because I've kind of worn them so much. But these can definitely translate to a 38. Um, I'm not quite sure what their retail price is. I know it's above $100 a piece. I'd say probably around the same as black denim. But you can find these just about anywhere. I found them at like a Saks Off Fifth. I know they sell them. Barney's. Definitely you can check probably Barney's Warehouse. You can find some good prices. But uh, J Brand Jeans is for sure another designer label that I love. That I would buy more jeans from once I get more money. So some of the last other pairs... Like I had said in my last video, I just got these Rick Denim, and these are in a 38 or a 54, and uh, these fit really, really well, but that was also a huge gamble. I had no idea these were going to fit. I really didn't think they were going to, especially with my past experience with Rick Denim, but they did. And you know, sometimes you just have to take the gamble, especially when you're buying online. Buy them in a place where you either know, okay, I can either return these, or I can just resell them. Because like, I knew if I couldn't fit into these Rick Denim, somebody else would take them off my hands, so I didn't really worry about it too much. All right, so another tip, if you kind of have, you found like your awesome jean that you love, they fit your legs perfectly, they fit you in the crotch area perfectly, what you need to consider is maybe going to like a thrift store or something, finding like a pair of shitty denim that maybe like don't fit you the best, they're real loose in the leg, whatever, maybe not exact fit you want, but you can tailor them. And that's what I did. So these right here, these are actually a pair of women's velvet pants. And in women's sizes, so these are a 18, which actually just translates to a 38. All you do is just add 20 to whatever the woman's size is, and it translates. But that's besides the point. So all I did was I took those gray top man denim. I'll actually leave a link to the video that I used on YouTube to be able to do this, because I did this with my mom. And you just basically trace along the leg, sew up that part, and they're the fucking same, dude. You don't got to pay a lot of money. You can find a cheap pair of old Levi's, let's say in a 38 or 40, and turn them into skinny jeans. Turn them into whatever your favorite pair of skinny jeans are. So, And if you can't do it yourself, just go to a tailor. People think it costs a lot of money. I used to do this when I was younger. It would cost me like $15 to get pants tailored. Like, that's not shit. It's way more worth it to go to a thrift store, get a $10 pair, get them tailored, and then you're at 25 And you can actually get the fit you desire for a bigger dude if you can't find 
an actual place that sells maybe a 40 waist or a 42 or even a 38. So that's one of my best keys of advice. And these are fucking sick, by the way. Can't wait to fucking talk about these. All right, so lastly, let's say you just want, don't really fuck with denim. It's not your thing, but you still want pairs of pants, obviously. I don't personally have a lot of like pant pants with like the shitty non-stretchy waist. It's not for me. So I go for literally like elastic waistbands. I love pants like this. Like you would never know. I'm not the one to really tuck in shirts too often, so you would never know that I'm wearing these. They just look like a nice pair of trousers. These are actually from the collab between Uniqlo and La Mer, which I don't think no, those are definitely gone by now. But these fit me awesomely. They're just an XL, so for most part, if you're a 36 or a 38 or even a 40, you can probably wear an XL or a 2X in something with a stretchy waist. So these are the La Mer ones. And then I also have a pair of, these are kind of like, kind of like Firigati type cargos. I got these from H&M like probably six or seven months ago. And I love these things. Again, you would never know that I just had an elastic waistband because they wear just like a regular pair of cargo pants. I got this awesome tapering at the bottom. These were only like 30 bucks, and I know that H&M still sells, like the ones with the zippers on the bottom. So consider doing that. If you can't find the denim that fits you right, you can probably get an XL nose, and those will stretch your waist for sure. Alright, another idea for non-jean wearers. Fucking sweatpants. Fancy sweatpants. These right here are from Acne Studios. Uh, I got these, it's a crazy story that maybe I'll tell someday if you guys ever want to hear story time with me. But um, I think I got these for, yeah, no, I'm not even going to say the price because that's for a different day. But they're just regular pair of sweatpants. They're super, super cozy. They actually can almost wear like a nice pair of pants if you can see the material. Like they're super glossy and shiny and they're comfy. You don't got to worry about, oh, they're not going to fit my waist because it's just a fucking elastic waistband. They're going to stretch to your waist. So these are definitely fire. So in the one pair of pants that I do actually kind of own that I wear, which I showed in my last video are these Alexander Wang pants because these actually have stretch to them and not too many pairs of pants have stretch to them they're super fucking stiff and that's why I fucking hate them there's uh, it's like the worst but these stretch and instead of having like a horrible button that you can't button your fucking pants these just have a button like this which is way way nicer and I definitely prefer that so these definitely are my favorite pants that I own I don't know about Alexander Wayne. I know that he sells up to a 54, so that might give you a chance at a 2XL to fit a 38. So I would check him out, but I haven't looked too much into that. But you never know. You might get lucky, which is great. And if you do, let me know. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I really hope you enjoyed the advice. I'm going to leave a link for pretty much all the brands that I've labeled below and where to buy them and whatnot so you can kind of get a look. I'm also going to leave a link for Essence.com so you can kind of maybe go check out your sizes in different brands. See if you'll be able to fit them so that maybe if you can't afford them there, you can find them elsewhere. So I'm really hoping to keep doing more videos like this. I want to be able to help you guys. It's really hard out here for a bigger dude to be able to kind of be on the fashion scene. It's really hard to find the shit that you need to make yourself look the way that you want to look. Make yourself even look a little bit better. Maybe make yourself look slimmer. So hope you guys enjoyed the advice. I'm going to keep cooking up videos. Fuck. Might do a pickup video soon. Probably not. I'm just fucking kidding. But I'm going to think of a different video soon, and we're going to have more quality content for you guys. So until next time, peace.